Welcome, welcome, welcome to Virtual TV Vlogs, everybody. Welcome, everybody. Get this video to a thousand likes, my people, and share the video. We have a whole heap of things to talk about. All right, now coming up in the segment, my people, it is this. Vibes Cartel proposes to see them, which we know that already, but the wedding date has been announced. We're going to talk about life as a one burner. You understand? All right? No. The other ones, them big man, them. These are the ultimate goal. I just said they at the end of the day. No, a new tropical storm approaches Jamaica rapidly right now, already developing in Cayman. You know, close that is. That is literally next door neighbors. So stay tuned for that. And of course, right now, also coming up in the segment, phone more people, we have more breaking news for now. All right. Yes, Philip Powell has now been labeled as a sellout. We're going to talk about that. You understand? Whenever Philip Alwell comes in the media to speak about anything, government related, personal life or related, it doesn't seem to work well in our favor. See the whole Tashin or something, and the Saria Palwell and the Leo Bradshaw business, it is going to stay with you forever. Whether you like it, yes or no. You understand? Persons, and although it is persons' opinions, the people them still think you have something to do with it. But we are going to get into that. In these and other stories coming up in the segment of people, all right? Yes, now first we will take the stories in their relevant orders quickly, all right? Welcome, welcome to Virtual TV Vlogs, as well, I said before, my people. Let's get into the main stories. One burner life is what Vibes Cartel says. Before we move forward, though, everybody like and share the video. Everybody like and share the video, my people, all right? So let's get into that. Seen and of course it's manifest Mondays, my people and subscribe to the channel now one burner life says vibes cartel he now sends credit to his fiance see them for a new chapter in his life now contrary to popular belief vibes cartel is a man he's a human being and he's also a big man 48 years old so we can't expect vibes cartel for you to live like him did i live um 20 or 10 years ago a life who not accept it you see the comments if a vibe if a man like a vibes cartel can get married or fall in love that is a perfect example that one must definitely look at now long tail as dance all most controversial figure vibes cartel has, has always commanded the spotlight with his edgy lyrics unfiltered persona but since his release from prison in July, Cartel has begun to show a surprising transformation that captivating fans and critics alike. Okay? Now, once known as the ultimate gallus with hits like Ramping Shop, the world boss is now embracing a new image, one marked maturity and introspection. Okay? Now, Cartel's recent business re um, relaunch for his straight vibes rum provided a window into his growth no one time me was a gallus but now me's a one burner so it represents maturity says the entertainer who recently proposed to his fiance no dr sanja stanley naya lecturer at the university of the west indies and cultural studies expert said his evolution and then in the evolution is cartel's image a, well reflects natural progression now what we know about life is that life is a cycle it is one with integrity she said no women grow up men grow up it is a you it is not you need to dance all it's just a human thing dr naya said here comes the doctor with them with them psychology why now she continued it would seem the representation of being a gangster a gallus or any other of those uh, masculinity representations are now shifting because for one he is a grandfather so he's looking at his own his, his own children having youth in ways that would reverse well would him reverse statements he made earlier about not being a role model now meanwhile cartel has credited the influence of sidem for the creation of party with me now, the eight track masterpiece, which is on the Grammy shortlist for best reggae albums, was released on May 31st, exactly two months before the artist released from prison. And best believe Cartel did plan the release there too. 
No, Cartel told the Gleaner, or the star rather, that his muse for the track was my fiance, and this makes it special. The chorus Cartel DJs, I love it when you party with me, when you whine, your, when you whine and look in my eyes. No, me fall in love a thousand times. Me love it when you party with me. Yeah. It's on a way when me read Patoi. Anyway. Mm. Um, yeah. Big up to Vibes Cartel. Big up to the new life and the new journey that he's beginning now. I may have to say everybody drop a like on the video. Because here we go on. See, as much as positive things like this come out, we're not going to go like on the overstep it. Overlook it, right? More than one occasion, Vibes Cartel has been telling the youths to stay in school. If you think about badness, don't do it. And if you do it, stop. More than one time. But guess what? We're not going to look on that. So if I highlight the good, I said big up to Vibes Cartel. Yeah? We're going to move on from that to know this. Philip Powell now faces criticisms of being a sellout in more than one ways, too. More than one ways. One, that they are saying that this newfound power that the JPS has in Jamaica with our electricity and them running rampant, doing what, they're, what they want, especially a clear representation since Hurricane Beryl began, right? This should be accredited to Philip Powell, the then energy minister, who, what they say, monopolize the electricity company. Allegedly signing a contract giving them all the rights. So who is to be blamed? You tell me. Now, opposition spokesman and energy Philip Powell says he strongly opposes any move that the Office of the Utilities Regulations OUR to increase customers' contribution to the Jamaica Public Service Company, JPS Electricity Disaster Fund, the EDF. Now, this is in response to a request from JPS for a withdrawal of $26 million from the fund to cover repairs cost following damages caused by Hurricane Beryl in July. Now, Mr. Powell is calling for greater transparency for, o, for the OUR and JPS. According to him, consumers deserve a clear, detailed explanation of the reason behind the request and any justification for a potential increase in contributions, okay? No, the EDF, he says, was established in 2004, has accumulated 50 million US dollars. It's funded through revenue granted from, con from customer payments. No, the fund was created to provide financial support for restoration efforts after the natural disaster while minimizing the financial burden on consumers. I don't know about the financial burden and minimize it. But anyway, let me tell you what the people them say. Quickly. Here what the people them say now. Remember, let me tell you what I'm just a talk about. You know, the OUR and JPS. Let me tell you what the people are saying. People them say, Paul well, sold out our rights to JPS and now he's trying to pretend that he cares about the JPS doing to what JPS is doing to us. Paul well, um you see what you don't see what you don't you do to jamaica people can rub out something you need to go and fast him for 40 days and 40 nights that is what is being said so yeah people in call him sell out no i try to seek for justify what he says anyway following um the tropical storm Raphael, right another one is happening no following the passing of tropical storm Raphael, my people meteorologists are projecting the development of another storm over the coming weekend so this weekend my people get ready and i will give you the weather updates right through phone all right now as Raphael makes its way across the caribbean sea on tuesday several sections of jamaica suffered heavy rainfalls causing floodings landslides now with the hurricane season set to end until the next of november hurricane forecast um, supercomputers have projected a high chance of a development of a tropical storm or a hurricane in the western of the Caribbean, right? Meteorologists are currently monitoring areas of rainfall storms building near Dominica Republic, Puerto Rico, and the U.S. Virgin Islands, the British Virgin Islands, St. Martin, down through Guadeloupe. So look out 
for what is going to happen. We have a potential hurricane that is going to develop this weekend. All right. I can share the video more people. Welcome to Virtual TV Blogs. Big up on yourself. I'm out.